All right, this is a tutorial on how to properly tag music that doesn't pull into iTunes quite correctly. For example, you buy a song and you download it and it, whenever you pull it into iTunes, it doesn't, it's not tagged quite all the way. It doesn't have the artwork. It doesn't have some of the genre and information. And how we're going to do this is through a tool called MP3 tag. And we're going to link our Discogs account to it. Discogs is a free service that allows you to catalog your music. And what we're going to do is authorize Discogs account to MP3 tag. And what we're, I'm actually just gonna install this. This is a very small download, it's three megabytes. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do, launch MP3 DAG. So in order to use the service like I'm describing, we're gonna need to give access. We gotta give MP3 DAG access to Discog. So what I'm gonna do is actually pull in a song, select the song, it allows you to use this menu. We're going to do a Discogs release ID. This is gonna proctor an authorization. I've already logged into Discogs, so it's gonna bring you to this page automatically. You're gonna authorize this. It's gonna give you a application code. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna paste this back into MP3 tag. You only have to do this once. After you've authorized it, you can do, you can pull in as many as you need to. And in this case, it's now asking for the ID release. So we're going to look this up. And by a, an ID release, it's asking for this code. You're going to click on it, it selects it, copy it. We're going to paste this back into our MP3 tag. It's going to properly pull up all the information. I'm linking this to the MP3, and that's what I'm using right now. This is going to bring in all the information that is in Discogs. I'm going to do another one for example. We're going to do this one. It's going to, you got to click on it to make sure that you're able to access it. We're going to hit Discogs release ID. It's going to ask for the ID. Look this up. Again, you're just going to click on this release code, copy it. Paste it. Okay, it's gonna bring in all the information. Discogs is a community built platform. People submit submissions to these. They add revisions all the time. So this is current and up to date. And all you have to do after this has been tagged is pull up iTunes. I can actually delete that. We can just pull the two songs in here and they show appropriately. That's Red Light Drive. We're we'll do Shimmer. So, yeah, that's how to properly tag songs for iTunes that don't have all of the information and don't pull automatically from the iTunes. Thank you.